You'll notice at the top my navigation with all the different links to my different pages. Over here on the right hand side, the order that you see them in across the top here is the same order they are in over here to the right. So if I want to change this order, let's say that I want to put this Molaski website all the way at the beginning, I would come down here, I would find this link, left click, and I would drag it to its new location. So now you can see it moved it all the way over here to the left next to the home page. If I want to create a sub page, and that's what this is right here, so I have a getting started, and then you see the little drop down arrow, and you see all the sub pages that are listed underneath here. So to create a sub page, you would left click on your page, so let's take this test page this time, and put it underneath the about page. So I left click and I just drag test right on top of the word about. Now you can see it has created a drop down arrow and the page test is underneath it. This is how you create sub pages. What I want to show you first is I'm gonna put, we have actually already published this, so let me come look at the published page. So when I look here, notice how it says sites, J.E. Schmutz, that's the main page for this, the main name for this website and then backslash and the word test. So if I sent you this URL right here and you clicked on it to open it, it's gonna bring you to this page. But now let's move this page and let me show you what happens. Let me delete that. So I've taken this page, I've moved it now underneath the about page and now I'm gonna click publish. I'm gonna publish this site. And now I'm going to come back to that original link that I had sent you and let's just hit refresh and see what happens. So we're pretending that you just tried to open this link and when you try to open it, now you notice you get a 404 error because this page has been moved. So right here, it says the sites J.E. Schmutz backslash test. But now if I come here to about and click on that test page, notice what the URL did. It's the sites. J. E. Schmutz, and then it's about, and then it's test. So please keep this in mind when you are naming your pages, when you're moving your pages, that it does change the URL address. You can continue to move pages around, nest them. You can unnest them by just taking, left clicking on it and dragging it out from underneath the page that it was in, and that brings it back to where it is its own page. So again, remember the order in which you have them is the order that matches over here on the right hand side.